Please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon. We are just going to start a new topic adjectives. What is an adjective? It is a qualifying word or describing word. An adjective always describes or qualifies a noun or a pronoun. Okay? So, it is called a describing word or qualifying word. Now, for example, if I say she is a beautiful lady. Now, it, uh, this word beautiful describes or qualifies the lady. So, beautiful is an adjective. Okay? So, we are going to see the different types of adjectives. And I'm going to give you sentences based on it. Shall we go ahead? So, adjectives and kinds. Adjectives, I'll just say. Describing word. <clears throat> Describing word. It qualifies a noun. It qualifies a noun or a pronoun. There are two kinds of uh, adjectives. The first one is a descriptive adjective. Okay, a descriptive adjective. This, uh, these descriptive adjectives always describes, okay. Uh, for example, ugly, heavy, um, dry, good. tall, etc. Okay? Even colors, red. Okay, all these are descriptive adjectives and they always describe like uh, he is an ugly man. That box, it is a very heavy box. Uh, the weather is very dry. Um, she is a good girl. They are very tall. The house is painted in red or it's a red house. All these are adjectives and it describes uh, a noun or a pronoun. So, this is the first type of adjective. The second type, there are many. Okay? Determiner adjectives. Determiner adjectives under this, the first one. Uh, demonstrative adjectives. Demonstrative adjectives. Example, this, that, this, that.
that these doors she wants this book if i say this here becomes an adjective or uh, he spoke to those boys those is a an adjective next one distributive adjectives so what is this distributive adjectives and the examples are each every either neither these are distributive adjectives each every either and neither next one quantitative adjectives quantitative adjectives for example some any little no no means uh, she did she had no rice so but no or she had little rice or she had some uh, milk or she had some pens anything okay few many all several and also uh one numerical adjectives numerical adjectives these are nothing but first uh fifth like that anything to do with numbers fifth tenth hundredth um what else 20th we say 20th century we are in the 20th century so first fifth tenth hundredth 20th any number okay becomes numerical adjectives next one interrogative adjectives interrogative adjectives which what whose these three are interrogative adjectives that is the house uh, in which my parents stayed um she that is a person whose mother is a good friend of mine so which whose all these are interrogative adjectives whose pen is this if you ask that whose is also an adjective 
Next one, possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. This will be my, our, your, his, her, theirs, their and its. All these are possessive adjectives. If you see these are all pronouns which can be adjectives also. It is his pen. It is her mother. So, here it becomes a possessive adjective. Next one. Um, relative adjectives. Just like relative pronouns, relative adjectives, who, which, that. And the last one, proper adjectives. This proper adjective is instead of a proper noun adjective. Example, Indian, American, uh, Tamilian, All these are proper nouns, but it describes he is a true Indian. So, it talks, it describes that person, he. Uh, he is a North American. She is a Tamilian. Uh, she is a, um, what to say, Buddhist. All these are proper adjectives. Okay, now I have given you the different types of adjectives. And what is an adjective? It is a describing word and it qualifies a noun or a pronoun. It qualifies a noun or a pronoun. First one is descriptive adjective. Example, ugly heavy, dry, good, tall and red. You can also add um, like beautiful, pretty, um, smart, you can say colorful. All these are descriptive adjectives. Next one is the determiner adjectives and I have given you eight different kinds under this determiner adjectives. First one is demonstrative adjectives. Example, this, that, these, those. The second of the determiner adjective is distributive adjectives. Example, each, Every, either, neither. Okay, these are distributive adjectives. The next kind is the quantitative adjective. Example, some, any, little, no, few, many, all, several, one.
this denotes a quantity of something like she has some rice left or he does not have any rice left. Same way few, I have a few coins for use or many, he has many cars or he has all that he needs, uh, he has only one um, car or one house. So, quantity talks about quantity. Next one, numerical adjectives, first, fifth, tenth, hundredth, twentieth. Okay, numerical, it is attached to the numbers, numerical means numbers. Interrogative adjectives, that is the next kind. Interrogating words are what, which, all that. So, here we have interrogative adjectives, which, what, whose. Okay, the next one, possessive adjectives, my, our, your, his, her, their, its. These are possessive adjectives. Next is a relative adjective. Example, who, which and that. And the last one, proper adjectives. Uh, these are proper nouns, that is why it is called proper adjectives and Indian, American, Tamilian and Buddhist. All these are proper nouns and these can describe a person, okay. So, they are called proper adjectives. Now, I am sure you have understood the different kinds of adjectives. I am going to give you some exercises to identify all these adjectives. Okay, now we have seen the different kinds of adjectives. Uh, we saw the first kind as a descriptive adjective and the second one uh, we saw uh, determinative adjectives. So, under this descriptive adjective we see examples like ugly, heavy, dry, good, tall. So, most of the uh, these uh, adjectives uh, are descriptive in nature, that is why they describe. And these adjectives can be divided into three different degrees of comparison. I am going to show how these descriptive adjectives can be uh, divided into three degrees of comparison. Now, for example, Satish is a tall boy, which is the adjective here, tall, okay. If I say, Ramesh is taller than Satish. Taller is also an adjective. Okay, now if I say <clears throat> Sandeep is the tallest among the boys in the class. Tallest is also an adjective. Now, Satish is a tall boy, Ramesh is taller than Satish and Sandeep is the tallest boy uh, among the boys in the class or he is the tallest boy. Now, if you see this adjective tall has been uh, given in three different degrees of comparison. What are these three sentences? They are comparing one to the other, 
one to the other and then they say he is the tallest. So, how are these three compared? Now, what are they called? That is what we are going to see now and all this comes under degrees of comparison. Okay? Degrees of comparison. Okay, now uh, let us see. First one, Satish is a tall boy. This is the positive degree. Now, tall is just the adjective and it is called the positive degree. Next one, you are comparing Ramesh and Satish. Satish is being compared to Ramesh. So, this is called here, taller is said to be the comparative degree. Comparative degree. <clears throat> okay. Now, Sandip is the tallest among the boys in the class or he is the tallest boy in the class. Now, tallest is no, neither superlative, I am sorry, neither positive nor comparative, but it is a supermost. Like I have given you stars and you are a superstar. So, the superior most. So, tallest, this adjective is a superlative degree. The highest point of any comparison uh, in, an, in an adjective is a superlative degree. <clears throat> 